my name is Bond. James Bond. Welcome to the Creo Studios. So, and here's a special guest starring Eric Creel. Hello, everyone. So, hey, Jimmy B. Hello. You should call my very own names. <laughs> You're James Bond, don't you? Yes, I am. So, i here today to do my top 10 reasons why I love No Time to Die. That's my movie. All right. Initiating number 10 sequence. The Incredible Story. Ah, yes. Look at how writing and the plot were. It has really amazing to look how awesome it is that every single story and the plot and the premise look really awesome. Yeah, it takes with a nearly three hour film just like James Cameron's Avatar. This is really amazing to me. So that's why I put fantastic premise or should I say the incredible story for my number 10. Approaching number nine sequence. Alrighty. And you all know what's number nine? Alrighty, coming in at number nine is Fantastic Backgrounds. Yep, every single background who filmed during in every locations. This looks really amazing. Yeah. Look how really awesome it is. Especially a location in Jamaica, Cuba, Madeline's house, and especially Safin's lair, including the po I mean poison garden, and etc. This looks awesome. So that's why I put fantastic backgrounds for my number nine. Approaching number eight. Alrighty, here goes the number eight. We have amazing designs. Ah yes, these designs look really awesome. It has wonderful thing that it written every single thing. The designs look awesome for a special effects and visuals when we get to any other numbers where we hit, get to here. So, and that's why I put amazing designs for my number eight. Alrighty, approaching number seven sequence. Best looking action sequences. Ah uh, yes, this action sequences are really epic and jaw dropping amazing. It has really makes sense. It has so much awesome action scenes, what we did in every single, I mean, every single Bond films for the past years. Wow. My action sequences in every movies look really awesome to me. So I am so proud of you, Eric. You're welcome, James Bond. So that's why I put best looking action sequences for my number seven. Now we're approaching on the way through number six has to be the best looking visuals and special effects. Ah uh, yes, these special effects and visuals are awesome. Yeah, these are really awesome. All kinds of action sequences and every visuals and special effects look awesome. Especially the gun fighting, the gun shooting, and all kinds of etc. They look awesome. And you know what's even better than a regular standard it has with an IMAX format screen is only in IMAX theaters with No Time to Die, which is a much better IMAX aspect ratio. Although I haven't seen No Time to Die in IMAX theater. Well, I'm kind of glad it's released in IMAX, which is proud sponsors of IMAX film. Yep. So... That's why I put best looking visuals and special effects for my number six. Now we're moving into the number five. Coming in at number five is best hearing music scores. 
And don't forget the best original song from that Oscars 2022 deserve to win for the best original song, Billy Irish's No Time to Die. Ah, yes. Including Han Zimmer, which is a music composed by No Time to Die. It was amazing, filled with everywhere. All the good qualities look really awesome, and it looks amazing. So this could be my favorite out of all the music composers by Hans Zimmer. This is really amazing. And don't forget the best Billy Irish song of them all, No Time to Die. Ah, yes. No Time to Die is considered one of the best Bond song of all time. This song is really amazing. And I'm so proud of you, Billy Irish, who played and singing you are so amazing so that's why I put best hearing music scores and best hearing original song for my number five coming in at number four epically heartwarming moments ah yes these heartwarming moments want to make you feel cry and get sad and get Grown a tear in your eyes with a grown man cry. Yeah. And especially, and I'm not going to spoil No Time to Die, because James Bond has go descent to heaven when and get blown up by a missiles in the island alongside with Safin's lair. And I was crying in my tears, in my eyes, that this ending scene after the climax when James Bond got officially died while get blown up by missiles. This is hands down one of the saddest scene I have ever seen in my life ever since. Alicia passed away from light year. Olaf was faded into a snow pieces from Frozen 2. Buzz Lightyear got broke the arm from Toy Story and the hallelujah scene from Shrek and etc. It make me cry for a PG-13 rated drama and action movie. That's why I put Epically heartwarming moments for my number four. Now I'm starting to get feel better at my number three. Has to be Paloma. Ah yes, Paloma, who performed by Ana de Armas. Ah yes, the legendary Ana de Armas herself. She looks really amazing. And she is really that wonderful indeed. I'm proud of you, Ana de Armas. I'm so happy. Yeah, this could be my favorite Bond girl, along with Madeline Swan from this movie, Inspector. So, that's why I put Paloma for my number three. Coming in at number two, I rewatched it. So yeah, ever since I rewatched on my iPhone for its nearly last two months ago for my iPhone while I charge it, it looks really awesome and it still holds up to this morning and every single day. So that's why I put I rewatched it for my number two. Now let's get into the number one. The number one reasons why I love No Time to Die has to be this movie will gain a highest grossing movie ever made. Well, technically Avengers Endgame and James Cameron's Avatar are both way tie and one of the most Highest grossing movies ever made. Well, No Time to Die will get a highest grossing movie ever made. So that's why I put No Time to Die will gain a highest grossing movie ever made for my number one reason why I love No Time to Die. And this is conclusion for my video of my top 10 reasons why I love No Time to Die. 
And a special thank you to Nick Hicks, Frozen 2, and No Time to Die Fan 2001, and Frozen 2 and Stranger Things Fanboy 2004, who do my own video. So, mission accomplished, Eric Creel. Mission, I mean, mission accomplished to you, James Bond. So, if you want to see more videos to my channel, click subscribe, click the bell button if you want to see more messages, notifications, whatever you like. And stay tuned for tomorrow is my video of why I won't rant on the Banana Splits movie. Ooh, boy. Prepare yourself, Hanna-Barbera fans and the Banana Splits fans. Get ready for my why I won't rant on the Banana Splits movie. So, hope you guys enjoy and goodbye.